Hey, Gen Chem 1 class, this is Professor Miller. I wanted to go over what's going on this week so that we're all staying on track. Um, first off, I want to tell you that in lecture this week, we are going to be playing a game called Kahoot. And we're going to be doing this about introduction to naming chemicals, OK? So there's lots of videos, lots of notes in module two that you can take a look at to get ready for that if you want to be um, in the winner's circle at the end. It's also handy if you have your periodic table um, nearby when you're doing this. So the one that's green from the lab especially because there's a, there's a reference material on the back of that table that's very handy to use. Eventually you want to get away from depending on that, but it's a good tool to start learning this material. Okay, so that's what's happening in lecture. Um, in our actual class time lecture. For Alex, our topics this week are mostly about naming. So section 2.7 and 2.8 are all about naming. Um, this takes practice, OK? So the only way to get good at naming is to practice it. And that's what Alex is going to help you do. And then we also have a little bit of information to help us get ready for next week's labs. Uh, so. This is going to introduce us to the concept of what a mole is. It's just another unit. We've seen that in some of the unit conversion problems we've done uh, the, in um, the first week or two of Alex. So anyway, it's gonna, we're going to really learn about how to use that, how to make balanced reactions. And um, especially important for lab is this topic here, writing the net equation for a sequence of reactions. To do this, you have to understand some solubility rules. Um, so I made a video of that that's in module two. And I also made a video explicitly about net ionic equations. So those are, those are two videos to definitely take a look at um, this week. Our due date, as always, it's Friday at 3 p.m. So make sure you're using office hours and you're spreading out your learning. This is a lot of topics and they're, they're going to take you some time to learn. So don't wait until Thursday or Friday before you take a look at this. OK, um, so that's that's what's going on for Alex. Um, the other thing we have going this week is a journal entry. This one's about our exam that we just finished on Monday. Um, so I want you just to think about it a little bit before I grade it for you and I've already gotten some emails where people are concerned about uh, their grade not being what they wanted. But remember that I will go through your handwritten submission. And it's possible you might have gotten the questions partially correct, even if you don't get 100% right in Alex. OK? So don't stress out too much about it. It takes me about a week to grade exams. So don't expect instant answers. I'm not a computer like Alex, OK? Um, but. As always, if you have questions, you are more than welcome to come and ask me uh, during office hours. Uh, we can talk about what you get stuck on as well. OK, so that's our assignments for lecture. For lab, we're going to be doing uh, kind of the same thing as last week, but flipped around. So if you were in group A in person last week, now you're at home this week doing the separation of a mixture experiment. Your goal there, again, just to remind everybody, your goal there is to collect para-aminobenzoic acid. We call that PABA, P-A-B-A for short. Your goal is to collect that, and you're going to bring it with you uh, to lecture. Or, I mean, I'm sorry, not to lecture, to lab next week, OK? The key to beginning that process is to, to follow the directions and write down those physical properties. You may have to search for them online, so make sure you're citing your sources. OK, and then for uh, group B, you're in person this week. You will be bringing your white crystals, your PABA crystals with you and doing a melting point as part of the measurement experiment. Um, so that's what we've got going on this week. If you have questions or you get stuck, don't forget, I have office hours and your lab teachers have office hours, too. I hope you guys have a great week. And uh, don't forget, naming is what we're going to focus on in, in, in our class time this week. Um, to play Kahoot, it's really handy if you have a secondary device or two monitors on your computer, so a phone or a tablet or whatever. Um, the questions come up on 
the screen that I'm sharing only. So you got to be able to see Zoom and you got to be able to, to, to use another internet browser at the same time. Okay. There is an app if you want to download it, but you don't need to. You can also just access it through the, through the website. Okay, so it's going to be fun, and I look forward to seeing everybody this week. Um, yeah, see you soon.